Hi, my name's Caroline, also known as Rayon, and I just wanted to put together this little video to show how to put custom maps into Worm Unlimited because a lot of people seem to be having problems with it. So I'm starting here in the map generator, and all I've done is I've just created a basic map. All I've done is um, drop dirt, and I haven't created any biomes. Uh, I've called it the test one, and I've saved all of the things on here. So save the actions, the image dumps and the map files. Now if you download um, a zip from somebody else they should have all of those files. And Let me just find the folder. So here I'm in um, the maps folder from Worm Generator and this is the folder I've just created test one. So this is what you should be seeing. You'll have your map actions, the various map files and these PNGs are the actual graphics. Now what you need to do first of all is copy this into your server file but the best way to start that is to make a copy of, of one don't just edit the one that's in there so what I'm going to do is if I go over to um, tools in Steam and find the worm dedicated server I'm going to assume you've got this file already now this is something that I've created already. What most people are going to have is this adventure and creative. Now starting with the creative database, each server has actually got two components to it. You've got the database and you've got the map files. And it's important that you have a copy of both. Now down here, um, one thing that I'm not sure many people have noticed, you've just got this copy button and you can call this something else. So if I call this test one server and click copy this is going to make a copy of the whole of the creative database so what I'll do now is not that folder this one over here in your steam library you've got steam apps common blah 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 you've got your worm dedicated server and these are all the folders which are already there you've got your adventure and the backup and the creative and the backup and so forth and now I've got a new one test one server. So these will be the copies from all of the creative. So what I want to do now is come back over to the map files which have been created by the worm generator and simply copy those into that folder. So come in here, copy in all those files and simply, oh I think that's off the screen slightly, and copy it and replace. So you've got some other files in there as well, like this game directory, um, the, the ini file, SQLite, which is an important one, and now your map files. Now this SQLite, um, SQL stands for Structured Query Language, and that is how you access a database. And these are all the various database files. Now you don't have to worry about any of this. What you're looking for is a batch file called Rebuild. Here we go rebuild dbs.bat and that is a file which rebuilds the database files from default values so it says are you want, sure you want to delete and recreate the database yes now this is why I've made a copy of the database because you don't want to do this on the standard maps that come with Worm Unlimited it's better to do it on a new copy just in case anything goes wrong so press Y enter and this only takes a moment. What this is doing, loading resources from these like worm creatures.sql, that's actually recreating the database tables from a file which has got kind of a fresh database in there. Press the key to continue. Now in theory, that you should be done now, and that should be everything. I'm going to have I got a server already? Yes. I loaded up the server. So click now onto my test server. These are the various, let's call this test one server as well. Um, I'm going to leave all of the other um, features in here, all of these settings. I'm just going to leave them on default. None of that matters just for this testing purposes. Save the changes. Now when I click start, in theory it should just work. What's been happening a lot of the time is that the server actually hangs when you use a custom map. So let me click it and see what happens. So down here it says loading servers. And then we wait and see if it will actually connect to Steam or if it's going to hang. It's 
not looking good. I will probably edit out this pause. Okay, I'm going to assume that's hung. It's not working. And if we click on this now, it's going to come up and say it's not responding. There we go. Not responding. It's died. This is the problem which most people are having. So I'm just going to go and kill the server in Task Manager. Close the program. Yes, get rid of that. Okay, now there's a workaround. I don't even know why this works. Come back into your map generator. Reload the files. This time, instead of loading from the maps file from um, from where the map generator creates them, I'm now going to navigate over to the actual Steam version. So Steam library, Steam apps, common, ignore my tons of games. Uh, um, somewhere in here, right at the end, into the server files. We've now got the test one server, which we created, and the map action. So this is the file we've just copied in there. It should be absolutely fine. But for some reason, if you reload it, resave it, and rebuild the database again, it works. So it's now done all of that. Um, we'll just check show map view. That's all there. So save the actions, save the image dumps, and save the map files. Now I think this saves only to these local things here. Um, note they're the old times. So if I come into my server files, 15.36 is the time right now. I think it's put, it, put them in the right place. So now I'm going to come back to my server, start it again, try it again, and hope that it works. And if it doesn't, then this video has been a total waste of time. Uh oh. It's going to hang again. I had this working before. I'm going to kill it again. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to close the map generator reload it let me just set the screen so that you can see it properly load up the actions again ah I see what I've done right in my maps folder I had originally created test one and what it has done is when you save it creates a new folder here and I've called this well, in the server I called it test one server so it's created a new set of maps these are the files we need to copy back into the actual server directory sorry for the confusion there okay so now yes 1536 was the time I generated them so these are the new times okay so now <laughs> now it should work start server here we go server connected to steam so hopefully if I now come over to my games ooh, ah, find worm and play this is going to go into full screen by default so only a tiny of it will appear in the viewing screen now click on land tab and here we go test one server uh, I've got my name is Rayon, which is fine. Let's connect and see if it works. Now, I can be able to tell if it's worked, because if it has, the map should be nothing but grass. Uh, I didn't add any biomes at all, so there shouldn't be any trees. Um, there will be mobs. Right, so let's just create female character, send... Blah, blah, blah. Oh god, 
Okay, this is just a demo video, but still, she needs to have better hair. Okay, forget it. Uh, let's just click random, that'll do. Okay, yes. Now, here is something else I want to mention. Okay, let me just walk around for a moment to get rid of these screens. Um, all right. This is supposedly a brand new fresh server and it looks correct because all I'm seeing is grass. There's no other tiles, no trees. But here we've got something called a stone of Southfall. And if we examine where we are, we'll examine this thing. This is annoying. Oh, you can't actually see this because it's off the screen. But there are things in the database, and this is also something which you can clear out. So let me quit out of Worm, and there's something else I want to show you. Back in the, not in there, back in the server files, remember there was this SQLite directory, and this create, and this has all of the database? You can actually edit this. I've already loaded it up. There is a a program called SQLite Browser. I'm going to post the links. I'm going to, I have a blog post to go along with this video and I'll post all the links for this stuff. And this is a really nice um, front-end GUI program which allows you to access a database. And I have conveniently loaded it up already. So this is it when you um, load it up. Open your database and we're going to have to go and find... Ugh, this is the problem with them in Steam, you have to go to the library and then the apps and then common and then come down to your game, blah blah blah. And then we have to find the the actual server we want. So we can edit any of the databases, including the ones that come with uh, the game. Like the creative one isn't all that blank, which it should be. So now each one of these dot db is an individual database, and each one of those will have several what are called tables. So if we look at worm zones for example, open this up. Now this all looks a little bit scary but don't worry. You want this browse data tab and on this drop down it will show you the individual tables which you are able to see. Now one which has probably got some data in it, you don't have to go through all of these or anything, but look at the one that says focus zones and look at that. We have um, six entries here, one of them that South Fall that we were just looking at. Drag that across. I think it was South Fall Mountains or it might be the Central Lakes. These are um, kind of like place names which the developers put into the creative map. I think they're spawning locations, I'm not even sure. But if you wanted to get rid of this, you can just... Uh, can we just highlight the rows? Yeah, highlight the rows like that and simply delete record and now you've um, we can write the changes and that has got rid of those those zones out of the database now if you want to you can come and look at other things for example worm items um, we can look at things like just the items table and look at all of this this should be empty we've got all these See that Stone of Southfall that I was looking at? Crown of Might, Shod Clubs, Pottery Bowls, Carving Knives, Tool, bun, uh, tool Belts, Leather, Wemp. All of this should be completely empty. And it's not. <laughs> now there might be a... Oh, there's a 195 entries. So I'm simply going to highlight, delete, highlight, delete, locks, what else could be in here? That's the main one, is items, sometimes it's coins, body parts, that's a strange one. Okay, so write your changes. Players. There shouldn't be any players other than the one which you created. So on here, if we look through the various tables, there should be one called players. And here we go, this one single entry for Rayon, which is the character which I created. So that's all good. 
you can fiddle with this as much as you like um, and this is another reason why I say to make a copy of the database in your server remember back in here if I shut down the server which just takes a few seconds sorry if this video is going on a bit long 10 seconds seems ages when you're recording um, okay I have to start that back up again and I uh, where am I going tools Worm. Okay. So remember, the important thing here is whatever server you start with, either the adventure or creative, click this button to make a copy of it first and then work on the copy. I mean, if you did manage to screw up the original ones, you can always re download it from Steam, but it's a bit of a pain to have to start all over again. So hopefully this video has been useful, shows you how to get your, your custom maps into the game and work around that hanging bug. Um, please have a look at my blog, see if it's useful, and um, I'll see you soon. Thanks, bye.